Uh, good morning, Class 7 pupils. I'm very happy to be with you this morning. I, I think it is a pleasure to teach this class. This is my first time. I understand that Mr. Abanas was journey with you. And okay, he's there, but for this time, I will journey with you. I hope you have been doing well. That's my hope. And before I start this lesson, I must tell you that congratulations for the effort you are making. And also, I like to encourage you that keep going, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Life is all about try. And then, as you try academically, make sure that you pray God. Keep God so close to you so that He can still continue to guide you. Do not worry that we are teaching you, we will still teach you and repeat again. It is for your own advantage. The more you understand the concept, the better for you. You will be able even to apply it even in your future life. So it's better for you. I also congratulate your parents for giving you this opportunity to have this time. Because many children desire to have this time but they do not have. So we thank our parents too. So I encourage you that what you are doing is good. Continue to keep yourself very close to God and God who is in heaven will bless you. By the time we open the school, you will be somewhere and your brain will be on to your mind, which is very good. I understand uh, from the previous topic, uh, Mwari did with you circumference of a circle. I'm sure he explained fully uh, what circumference of a circle is. And I just want to recall what he was trying to explain that circumference of a circle, in other words, we can talk about perimeter of a circle or distance around the circle. For example, you are told find the perimeter of a circle, this is 21 centimeters. I'm just trying to recall from the previous lesson. What he said he just taught us perimeter of circles, and I'm sure he said. A circumference, I have said circumference of a circle is the same as perimeter of the circle. And I'm sure he introduced you to something like circumference is equal to pi d, pi times diameter. And I'm sure you are also aware of what pi is. Either you can use pi to 2 over 7 or you can use pi as 3.14. I'm sure you are aware of this. If we talk about pi, then we are talking all about we are talking of 22 over 7 or 3.14. Those two are pi. And if you are given a question, uh, you will find that the question will specify use this pi or use pi as 3.14. And therefore, you use stricter use the pi that you have been given. Uh, let me just uh, calculate this question. Find the circumference of a circle. Circumference is equal to pi d. Number one, one thing we need to understand in mathematics is very easy and very enjoyable. Uh, and if we want to make it very enjoyable, have all the formula in mind with you. For example, I have my formula first here. You have seen I have written my formula first. Circumference is equal to pi d. Then I strictly follow that formula. Then circumference is equal to pi, we have said 22 over 7. I'm just presuming that what if we explain the pi, 22 over 7 multiplied by diameter. And that will be able to give you the perimeter or the circumference of that circle. Then by 7, 1, 21 by 7, you get a 3. Then you multiply 22, uh, 22 times 3, then you get 66 centimeters and that is the circumference of the circle. Remember circumference is the same as perimeter and therefore the unit remains the single unit like that. So we have the answer as 66 centimeters, 66 centimeters. That was just to recall what the teacher taught you earlier and so I am, today I would like us to focus on another topic uh, that is test related to what we have, related to the circumference of circle and that would be, uh, we look at the perimeter of shapes. Today, perimeter. Perimeter of shapes. Okay, I have just written it there, but I have written it here once again. 
Perimeter of shapes. When you talk about perimeter of shapes, probably we have combined shape or a single shape, for example. We have a, an example of a semicircle. I don't want to do that. Perimeter of shapes. Number one, we have talked about the circumference. Circumference in a circle, we say, is, uh, is the same as the perimeter of a circle. But when we come to another shape, like a semicircle, we can say that circumference is the perimeter of that, uh, of that shape. Why? Because circumference, we refer to the circular shape. If you look at a semicircle, we have a circular shape, but then this is not a circular, this is not circular. We have a curve here, and this is a straight line. Therefore, we can't say, like the way we have explained in circumference, in a circumference, the whole figure is circular. In a semicircle, the whole figure is not a circular. And that is why we are talking of perimeter of shapes. And what is perimeter? Distance around the figure. Perimeter is distance around the figure. And therefore, if I take an example of a perimeter, assuming that this, uh, uh, this semicircle has a diameter of 14 centimeter, we want to find the perimeter. Number one, already we have the circular part. I am sure the teacher must have taught you how to find the circumference of a semicircle. And how do we find the circumference of a semicircle? A half pi d. A half because it is a half, a, is a half circle. But then because we are finding the perimeter, what is there? Uh, and what is the perimeter? Distance allow the figure. Therefore, supposing we have to start our journey from here, we have the circular part, then we have the straight part. Meaning that if I'm to start here, I walk like this, I like lift here, and then come back here, that makes the distance love the shape. So it is no longer, we are not looking for circumference, we are looking for perimeter. And so if you are looking for perimeter, you will find that we have the circular part, and because it is a semicircle, then we have a half pi d. That covers the circumference of the semicircle. But because I want perimeter, then I need to add the diameter, and therefore, what do I do? Plus diameter. So the a half pi d that covers the same circle, then if I add the diameter, it has made me to go back to perimeter of the whole shape. I'm having that formula with you, so we have the perimeter, not circumference again. Now, we can talk about, uh, if I just leave it like that, we have the circumference of a semicircle is equal to a half pi d, then perimeter of the same figure or the same shape will be a half pi d plus d. A half pi d plus diameter. Then if you say a half pi d circumference plus diameter, you have found the perimeter of that shape. So in following this formula, just like I said, you need to just follow the formula. Following the formula, then we can find the perimeter of this figure. Let's see. So we have talked of a half times pi, 32 over 7, times diameter. We have diameter of 14 centimeters, times 14 centimeters. And then after finding the circumference, we will add the diameter 14 centimeters in order to uh, uh, find the perimeter. Okay, fine. We work out this one first by 2, 1, by 2, 11. By 7, 1, by 7, 2, 11 times 2, that is 22. And then we have 22 plus 14 centimeters. We have uh, plus 14, that is 6, that is 6 centimeters. So we have 22 plus 14, you get that is 6 centimeters. And that is the perimeter of that semicircle. I have seen many children making mistakes. You are told to find the perimeter, you go and find only the circumference, you forget. Kindly remember, circumference half, uh, is equal to uh, finding perimeter, then we add the diameter so that you can go back to the point where you are. Remember, since we are talking in terms of perimeter, the unit remains single unit. And when you are doing your calculations, make sure that you put the unit. I've also seen other children like, okay, perimeter is equal to 
you find your answer as that. If you read your answer like this, this answer is wrong. Because we can't, we don't know whether that is six goes, that six cows, or that is six centimeters. If it is centimeters, it decays that it is centimeter, and that's the uh, perimeter of that semicircle. Uh, you can also be told to find the uh, perimeter of combining the shape. For example, we have this figure here. If you look at this figure, uh, we have a combination of a several. This is a semicircle. This is a semicircle. We also have this semicircle. The most important thing is to know that we are looking for perimeter, distance around the figure. You only need to find out or to trace from where are you starting your journey and where are you stopping. And the number one, before we start, you can see this is a dotted line, and I'm sure you are aware of that if there is a dotted line like that, it means that that line is not there. They have only put dots here, probably to help you know the measurement. But if they are, uh, for example, if you have a shape like this, like this, this is an indication that this line is not there. It's just like writing it like this. It's just like leaving it like this. But because they want to show you or to indicate the measurement fully, then they put a dotted line, but you're supposed to be aware that you're not consider that. So that even if I'm to find the perimeter of this shape, I only find the circular part and I don't consider this simply because it's a dotted line. The same with our shape here, you can see this are dotted line, meaning that this line is not there, but they have given us those dots in order to help us see the measurement there. And so if we are to trace in this diagram from where my journey will start and go back there, because we are looking for perimeter and perimeter distance around the figure. So assuming our journey will begin from here. And if the journey begins from here, assuming that we follow this direction, we come this way, we come this way, we come this way, meaning that we will not follow here because this is a dotted line, but we will follow this. And that is the distance we are looking for. Then how do we look for that distance? If you look at that distance, first of all, we have a, a circular semicircle here. So what we are going to do, we are only going to find the circular part and how do we find the circular part of a semicircle? We are going to say that circumference of a semicircle is equal to a half pi d. That's what we have said. So we have this circular. We also have another big circular here. Here and with all this being the diameter of that circle. Then our uh, semicircle. Then we have another circular here. Meaning that we are going to find the circumference of three semicircles and we find them differently because there are three different semicircles. They, uh, we said they are different because each semicircle has its own diameter. This semicircle alone has a diameter of 2.1 cm. Okay? This semicircle alone has 3.5 cm. Then we have the larger, uh, the larger semicircle here and the larger semicircle will have a diameter of 2.1 plus 3.1. This is the diameter. That's why I say we are to look for the circumference of the three of the three semicircles and then and then we find the perimeter. So we begin with A and we have said circumference is equal to a half pi d. So we can say a half times pi to the two over seven times the diameter of this semicircle we can see is 3.5. So multiply by 3.5 centimeters, and that will give us the circumference here. Two by two, one by two, 11. Uh, all right, when you are calculating, make sure you count the number of decimals first, keep them aside, and then when you finish your calculation, put back your decimals. We have by seven, one, that five by seven is five. And then we have uh, 11 times five, that is, 55 centimeters. Don't forget we have a decimal here, then you put your decimal there. Therefore, the circumference of the semicircle A is 5.5. Then you can just repeat there 5.5 centimeters. 
Then we go to another semicircle from where we come here. Semicircles, uh, we have semicircle B. Uh, semicircle B, let me just come back here. Hopefully, we can follow. Uh, that's semicircle A. And then we have semicircle B. Again, because it's a semicircle, we will say circumference is equal to a half pi B. So again, we form the formula. We have a half times pi. 22 over 7, and uh, because we are looking for the circumference of the semicircle B, if you look at the semicircle B, it's the larger semicircle, and this is the larger semicircle like this. This is the larger semicircle. So, what we are going to do to get the diameter, we need to add 2.1 plus 3.5. The whole of that makes the diameter. So, to find the diameter, we have uh, 2.1 plus 3.5 centimeters. This is 6, this is 5, so we have 5.6 centimeters, that's the diameter of the uh, semicircle B, so multiply by 5.6 centimeters. This should, should give us the circumference there. Again, we count the number of decimals in this question. Uh, we have one decimal, take note of that one decimal. When you finish your calculation, put back your decimal. Then we have by 2, 1, by 2, 11. Uh, by 7, 1, 56, uh, 56 by 7 is 8. Then we have uh, 11 times two, uh, 8, that is 88 centimeters. Don't forget we had counted one decimal, put back your decimal. Meaning that the circumference of the larger semicircle, larger semicircle begins from here uh, on the way to here. The circumference of the larger semicircle is 8.8 .8 centimeters. So if you look where, though we were told to find the perimeter of shapes, I have not yet gone to find the perimeter. First of all, I'm looking for the circumference. So that once I finish getting all the places, all the circumference, then I can add them together. Then we have a, a we have also semicircle C. We also need to find the circumference of semicircle C. And we have said circumference is equal to a half pi B. Again, we have a half times pi, 22 over 7. The diameter of this smaller semicircle is 2.1. So multiply by 2.1 centimeters. Count the decimal, we have one decimal. So that when you finish your calculation, put back your one decimal. By 2, 1, by 2, 11. Then by 7, 1, by 7 is 3. 11 times 3, you get 33. Uh, put back the decimal you counted, we have 3.3 centimeters. And so the circumference of the semicircle C is 3.3 centimeters. And now you can put 3.3 centimeters. Now, if you look at our question, we can now find the perimeter because we have found all the places. If I begin my journey from here to here, I have seen it is 8.8 .8 centimeters. Then from here to here, I have also seen it's 5.5 centimeters. And then from here to here, I have seen this 3.3 centimeters. So if I'm told to find the perimeter, then I think I'm very ready to find this, the perimeter. So remember, our aim is find the perimeter of shapes. Now I can be able to find the perimeter. I'm beginning from here, then this is 8.8 .8 centimeters. Then plus this part, 5. 5.5 centimeters, and then I'm going this way plus 3.3 uh, back to the starting point plus 3.3. And now, if I add that, that will automatically give me the perimeter of that shape. So we have 8 plus 5, that is 13, and 13 plus 6, that is 16. Okay, 1, 1 plus 8, that's 9, 9 plus 5, 14. 14 plus 3, that is 17 centimeters. Remember, strictly units, 17 meters are in centimeters. So we have 17.6 centimeters, and that's how we find the perimeter of that shape. The perimeter of that shape. Okay, I give another example of another shape. Again, we have a, a, a shape here. We are told to find the perimeter. If you look at this shape, we have a combined, uh, a combined, we have combined shape. We have semicircle here, we have semicircle here, we have a rectangle here. 
we want to find the perimeter of this figure. And what's perimeter? Distance love the figure. Assuming that we have to begin our distance here, then we move like this. Uh, we don't move inside, we come this way, we go like this, uh, distance love the figure go back. Okay? So if we have to find the perimeter, you can see, already we have been given here, this is 8 centimeters. We have not been given the circumference here, but we have been given here, we don't have circumference here. This question is very simple because uh, the diameter here is 3 and 9 over 11, and the diameter here also is 3 and 9 over 11. So I only need to find the circumference of one semicircle. Uh, the whatever circumference I find here will be the same as what I whatever I will find here is the same as what will be here because the diameter is the, the diameter is the same. And like in the other figure where the diameter is not the same. And so what do we do? The first thing is to find the circumference of a semicircle. And already we have said circumference of a semicircle is equals to a half pi b. One thing you need to notice is that if you have seen in every question I'm calculating, I'm writing the formula first because without the, the formula is your guide. Once you have the formula, you get that question without any problem. So again, we say a half times pi times 2 over 7. Diameter, we have 3 and 9 over 11. We can just convert it into mixed fraction. We have 3 times 11. That's 33. That 3 plus 9, 42. We have 42 centimeters. Don't forget that it is over 11. As a means, uh, you put it as a mixed fraction. This is 33 plus 9, 42 over 11. Then you can simplify by 2, 1, by 2, 11. By 7, 1, by 7, 6. Okay, we have 11 here. By 11, 1, by 11, 1. So we have here, we have 1 times 1 times 6, 6, uh, or 6 over 1, which is equivalent to 6 centimeters. Remember, we are looking for the circumference of a semicircle, meaning that the circumference of this semicircle is 6 centimeters. And just like I said, if the diameter is the same, then the circumference becomes the same. So we can also say this is 6 centimeters. So the first thing you do to that diagram is to make sure that you have all the measurements before you find the perimeter of that shape. And now that we have the, now that we have all the measurements, we cannot find the perimeter of that shape because we begin our journey here. This is eight. We have eight plus six. Then we have eight plus six. Then we have plus eight, and then we have plus six to take us back from where we came from. And this one added together will be able to give us the perimeter of that shape. So we have 8 plus 6, that should be 14. Then we have 14 plus 8, that is uh, 14 plus 8, that is 22. 22 plus 6, that is 28 centimeters. And that is the perimeter of that shape. That's the perimeter of that shape. I'm sure you have seen what we have done. Uh, before you find the, the perimeter, make sure that you have the measurement of all the, uh, all the measurements you need. And in such a situation, even if these lines are not broken, we don't add them because only they are inside the figure. I hope you have understood that. And uh, it is until you do an exercise then I get to know uh, how much you have understood class 7. Uh, I was told that you are very active and you are very hard working, but I would like to confirm. I would like to see the work you do and confirm. And because of that, I would like to give you exercise 72. I like you to do exercise 72 from your primary mathematics. Exercise 72, you find that there are 15 questions. Make sure you attempt all of them. Just make sure you keenly attend all of them, follow the example from your, uh, I'm sure you have your primary mathematics, do exercise 72, uh, there are 15 questions. Once again, I wish you the best and keep trying.
uh, since it is my first time, I'd like to see how much hard working you are when you send your work. Then on uh, one sign up, I'll be able to evaluate and I'll give you the response. I want, uh, remember to pray hard and remember to do your work. I wish you the best.